Hi guys, thank you for joining me again tonight. Um, I've been MIA for a couple weeks. I'm definitely not giving up or anything. Um, I've just been really busy, so I wanted to make a quick video that will hopefully give you some triggers and also it's one I've wanted to do for a week or two since I received um, a package of stuff that I ordered from um, this really great um, crystal curator kind of shop, um, Monk and Moon. So that said, um, I'm going to be basically showing you some stones that I bought and telling you a little bit about them from what I know. Some of them are ones that are very new to me, so I don't even have that much information. <laughs> I just like the way they feel in my hand. <laughs> so I'm going to be showing you stuff like that. And also some of the like jewelry that I make. Um, I don't really sell it on Etsy anymore, but um, just so you know what's going on with me and what I do. And I um, just thought it would be interesting to share. Um, I am on Instagram, I am on Facebook, um, you can find me in those places if you want to reach out, um, and I'm also on Etsy for like distance uh, sessions and stuff like that, so just getting that out there. Um, the first thing that I ordered from Monk and Moon are these stones, they're just little tumbled stones, but they're a little bit harder to find, or at least from my experience where I am. Um, they're called Kambaba Jasper. I'm sure that I've talked to you about these before if you watch any of my other videos, but they're a favorite stone of mine and often one that I'm recommending to people. So I've got a few stones that if I need to give out or um, use for my clients. So this is what Kumbaba Jasper looks like. They have these like cool black orby kind of galaxy looking things. Let's find some more. Just really interesting patterns. I love jaspers. Jaspers are all very nurturing. Um, you really can't go wrong with jasper. You can't. Like, they're just a very beneficial, very soothing uh, level kind of um, vibe that you get from them. Uh, Kambaba jaspers are green in the green kind of family of stones. And they're thought to be made, or I've heard that they're made or recreated by the algae that was actually responsible for creating the oxygen on our planet. So how cool is that, right? You can see the kind of like galaxy kind of look that they have. Um, I know I've recommended this before, but I'm going to share it again. But uh, these stones are wonderful for releasing thought patterns, programs, um, things that we kind of tell ourselves that we want to let go of. Things we're ready to let go of, things that never served our best interest or no longer serve our best interest, and um, are, we're ready to release. These are a great tool for that. Um, while I say that, though, let me please remind you that, like, I would never say that anything that you can buy will be something that um, will fix anything. These are tools for, you know, if you're just drawn to them, you're just drawn to them. If you're not on some type of um, aware of a spiritual path that you're on. But if you are making changes in your life and you're trying to better yourself and you're on some type of spiritual journey or anything like that, stones, crystals, all different things like that are tools. They're just tools, you know? Um, they're beneficial. They help us get to that vibration that we want to be at so that we can let go of things or process things or feel love within or more easily or whatever it might be. Um, so are these going to save the day? Like, no, they're not, but they are beneficial if that's the inner work that you're doing. They're a great tool for that. Um, I have another Kumbaba that I purchased. Let me show you. Um, this is a pocket stone that I bought for myself. And it's so lovely. Like, you can really see the pattern on this one. It's like swirling kind of shapes. It's so hard to get this to focus. I apologize. But just gorgeous. I absolutely love the energy that comes from these. I could stare at them all day too because they're just so fascinating looking. And this one's beautiful, chunky, juicy, pocket stone. I love how dark it is. Very cool. Um, okay. This is a really special Labradorite, polished Labradorite. It's very big. It's the biggest one I've ever owned. And, ooh, perfect. It looks like a skull. Like, I don't know if you see that, but there's like one eye, another eye, little nostrils, and like kind of teeth. 
Can you see it? I thought that was so cool, so I had to have this one. I'm not like crazy about skulls or anything, but like, how cool. So I mean, see. <laughs> Forgive my nails. Um, I had like gel nails done and um, they like wrecked my nails when they took it off, so I had to hide my outlet. <laughs> so yeah, this is a Labradorite. It has a beautiful golden, green, blue. Um, there's some like mauve kind of reddish tone in there. Flash going on. Super nice. Like it feels so good in my hand. Laboratory is excellent for um, working with the new moon, particularly. I mean, it's great for many things. It's a very magical stone. Like you don't, you only have to look at it to realize like that it's magical. <laughs> um, it has a lot to do with um, the. F okay, so the flash is called labradorescence, and it's basically um, different minerals or whatever that have lay um, formed in layers. And the stone itself is like, you can't see through it now, but I have some that you can almost see through that's like a opaque, or no, not opaque, but, um, or maybe opaque, like a grayish kind of stone, like the back, like you can see, it's just like this grayish kind of stone where these minerals have deposited and they create this flash called labradorescence. Um, there's other stones that are not labradorite that have a flash and it's still called labradorescence. Um, so, it's a lot to do with like looking within, seeing the unseen, um, opening like channels in your mind that you can explore different, um, I don't want to say different dimensions on, but different energies and frequencies, if you will. So that's great. And it's also cool. It's great to work with for the new moon, like I said, um, which is a great time for manifestations. Um, when I say like working with the moon, I don't mean that... You can't manifest anything at a time that isn't working with the moon, but um, the more momentum you can have in your manifestations, the better, um, the easier they'll be. You're not fighting anything, you're working with it, if that makes sense. Like you're not going against, not walking against the wind, you know, you're walking with the wind. So yeah, really cool pirate kind of uh, shape skull design. Thank you, Mother Nature. <laughs> okay, this is a um, really special, I've never seen anything like this before, um, an aura point. Now, this has been treated differently on the bottom and the top. This has like an indigo kind of aura, and this is um, maybe angel aura or something like that. Um, super pretty. And it has, it's not shine, I'm trying to shape, that is called the Isis face, which is one of my favorite shapes, and it's actually in my logo, so it's really cool that the stone came with that. I didn't really pick this one out or anything. Um, I mean, I picked out what I was ordering, but it's not like I saw the stones that I was getting. I just got very lucky. And just such a beautiful stone. I just couldn't resist it. Um, I don't even know what I plan to use this for yet. I was thinking of making it into like jewelry, but I'm not 100% sure. So that's the Isis face, that, that one that's flashing. And I believe over here, there's a little window that that shine right there that's called a window so these are the faces on the crystal that'll have different shapes to them and when there's this little like side like little kind of squarish rectangle shape between the faces that's called a window and that's um good for um when you're looking i don't want to say looking into the past that's not what i mean at all but seeing through something, like seeing through a situation or seeing it from a different angle. I don't want to say like a portal, but if you can imagine like a portal that just showed you a different angle, like it wasn't. But it's truly gorgeous. Okay. 
also purchased this pack of, I believe they're called zeolites. It's a parcel of four. And I do not have the names for these at all. They're just like kind of like a mixed parcel. Um, this one's going to be kind of hard to see, but it's really cool, beautiful, creamy color with some salmony red coral looking colors and these little blades. Just loved it. This cream color one. They just look so beautiful all next to each other. This is like a dark green and dark gray cream kind of color. I like that it came in a pack of four because I wanted to put it on my altar to kind of represent um, the four elements and um, directions. And this one might be my favorite. It's like a grayish, kind of just bubbly looking formation. I feel like I've talked to you guys about this before, but um, I'm a huge supporter or believer in supporting of <laughs> and supporter of um, small businesses. Um, I feel like the quality of care that goes into um, everything about it, from picking them out to packing them up and shipping them to you, they just always seem to have this, like, come from such a place of love. Like, that's not to say that, like, you can't find, like, a cool crystal in, like, home goods or something, and, you know, it's not as nice. I don't mean it like that, but they just, they just really come from this place of love. I guess if you get it from, like, home goods, it's more like you're rescuing it, <laughs> which is wonderful, too. Um, this is called a, and this is not from the parcel, this is separate, um, although it has a similar kind of, uh, shape in a sense. Um, forgive me for saying this, but this is going to probably remind you of, um, part of the anatomy. <laughs> it's very feminine, and, um, that's kind of why I got it, because I was just like, that was so cool. Um, and this is a concha, um, chalice I believe is how it's called, um, formation. It has like a shell look, but... <laughs> It's very beautiful, delicate, sparkly, it has like an oyster looking sea kind of feel to it. I just love it. It's so pretty. I feel like this would be really good for dream work. It feels very soothing and comforting. And I love the layers in it. The layer formations. Just super beautiful. Okay, and here this might be I can't pick really like what my favorite thing is that I got from them, but this could be close to it. Sorry, I'm like moving my feet around on this pillow. This is a very beautiful, in my opinion, um, natural citrine point. Uh, it has self-healed faces on it. So, okay, let's say this is in the ground somewhere and a shift in the plate happens or something falls or something causes 
a scrape along the side of it. Sometimes they break off. A very interesting thing about crystals, similar to plants, is if the conditions are right for them to continue growing, they will continue growing. It's not like they chop off and then they're just like not doing anything anymore. So this one's been had some trauma, I guess you could say to it, um, for lack of a better word, and you can see the self-healing on it. Now how you can see the self-healing is you'll see little points that are not coming out, but the shapes of the beginning of little points where this would have kept continuing to grow. So let's see if we can show you some. See these little like um, faces, these little triangles? Here's a bunch. And I think over here too. Right here. See all the little tiny ones? Those are self-healed faces that if this were the conditions are really right and they had enough time, it would really keep growing and grow a whole bunch more. So I think that's very cool. Citrine is one of my favorite, favorite stones. It's beautiful. It's warm. It doesn't hold negative energy. It cleanses the other crystals that it's around. Um, I do cleanse mine anyway. I just I like to give them love. <laughs> so I charge and cleanse them. They have solar, like sun energy. Um, comforting, wonderful for uh, like your willpower, solar plexus work. I believe they're great for all the chakras really, um, but uh, solar plexus stands out. Um, just that like sun energy. So beautiful. I'm so happy with this item. I, I absolutely love it. Okay, um... The big thing that I bought from them, I'm not going to even remember all the minerals and stuff that is in here, but it's this beautiful sphere of um, black tourmaline, smoky quartz, I believe cuprite, and some other stuff going on in here. So I can see how, <laughs> I can see your reflection, it looks funny. Um, I'm moving soon, and I'm moving to a place that has a fireplace and a mantle, so I wanted to get a nice sphere to put there for protection and negativity removal and just keeping the energy good. What's very interesting about the shape of spheres, um, besides them being very feminine, I guess that's the theme tonight, um, they emit energy in an um, even they send it out evenly because of the shape, so the energy is coming out like that. Whereas something like a point, the energy would be more directed, so you could be like focusing more. Or let's say you're making a grid, you might want to point the stones in a certain way, point some in, point some out. If you're doing energy work for yourself and you're um, trying to channel the energy to kind of like come in and cleanse and remove, you know, you would point it in or point it out. So these are more directional. Um, where something like this is more just kind of coming out. Um, <clears throat> so, a tumbled stone is, even though it's not round, it is kind of like emitting in a pretty much general, generally evenly way as well. Okay, so I did get some goodies from them. Very lucky and um, excited. Um, this is a little amethyst cluster. And it's really pretty amethyst because it has some like red amethyst here. It's very light, but you can see it's a little bit pinkish. Um, here's another amethyst point. It's very special. It has like, um, I feel like hematite or something going on, an inclusion of some kind, making it like a little brown. I love it. It's very interesting looking. I could stare at it forever. Very sweet. Um, I also got a really cute keychain, but I have it on in my purse downstairs, which it was like a really pretty geode keychain. And this is a Nuumite, forgive me, Nuumite Palm Stone. 
Newtonite also has labradorescence. See those gold flashes? This is a very dark stone. It's pretty much black um, and has these cool lab labradorescence of flashes of gold. Um, Newtonite, I believe, is from Greenland, or it was originally discovered in Greenland. It's, um, if not the oldest mineral, the second oldest mineral ever um, formed that we can track. Um, so, of, of volcanic, volcanic nature, formation-wise. And this is a very magical, very powerful. I believe it's called the Sorcerer's Stone, even, or like the Magician's Stone, or something like that. Um, it's highly protective of its owner. It's very grounding. Um, it's very powerful. If you're not used to working with um, highly powerful stones, I wouldn't recommend this as like your first buy. However, if you know that you needed some strong grounding or strong protective um, tool, I would definitely recommend it for that. Um, the only thing I would also recommend or suggest if, if you're um, an empath, if you depend on your intuition to um, help guide people, or if you are working with your intuition heavily at the time for some purpose, I would not recommend using this stone for that because it's such a strong protector that it kind of puts up a shield. And not only can things not get in and harm you or, you know, um, put you in a disadvantage in any way, but also you kind of can't perceive other people's things because it's even protecting you from their, their judgments, um, thoughts that they might place in your head, if that makes sense, like things that you might pick up on from them. It's very protective in that sense. So, wonderful. I love new Umay. I'm so happy to have this. Um, it's another one of my very favorite stones. So I'm going to show you a few of the necklaces that I make. Um, I just thought maybe it'd be interesting to you. Um, I'm not trying to sell anything, I promise, but I just wanted to share because um, I think you're starting to get to know a little bit more about me and this is something that I do. So, And they do kind of go hand in hand. So I make these little, this is like a new version of white one that I've never made before, but I make these little like macrame wrapped stones. You can watch a YouTube tutorial on how to do this if you want to do it yourself. Um, a lot of my clients though like that I make it for them. They like that it's, you know, um, picked out for them, I guess you could say, um, recommended. And I really love the pouch, um, shape or just the, the wrapped shape because I like to keep the stone with me all the time. Like, um, when I don't have one on me, I feel weird. <laughs> um, it's very unusual for me to not, it's very unusual for me to not have some type of stone with me. And I choose them very carefully and I have a lot of jewelry that I've either made myself or purchased. Like, these earrings I purchased recently from a small shop. It's, um, blue quartz, definitely dyed with a uh, lapis lazuli, um, stone, which, um, is great for your throat, third eye, and crown. Um, and in the work I do, those are very important chakras for me to keep balanced. So I love to have a nice um, either sodalite or um, similar kind of stone for those purposes. Um, this one is an emerald. And uh, I really enjoy it. I think that the way of wearing it, it's like soft. The way of wearing it and keeping it with you is a lot easier for me than putting a stone in my pocket. Like when I put a stone like this in my pocket, which I usually do too, I usually kind of load my pockets up, it's a lot more risky for me to lose it. So I like the neck, I like wearing them. Um, so another style or another version of one that I've similar. This stone, I wish I could tell you more about, but let me just tell you, I've never heard of it before and now I'm seeing it all over the place. And the feeling that I have when I hold it is all that I need to know. It's a really wonderful stone. It's called Axonite. It's kind of like goldy, kind of bronzy tones. It's so pretty. And um, I love it. Axonite, I don't know that much about. Um, it's not in any of my books that I have. Um, like I said, I never even heard of it until recently. I googled it and it said that it was great for all the the all the chakras, um, especially I believe the um, 
earth star chakra um, which was really wonderful for me and your higher crown as well so not only is it like the seven primary but it goes beyond um, which is excellent I love that and I wish I had more information for you on the stone but it's very new to me Axonite um, I recommend it it's just got really wonderful energy And this cord is a satin cord, I believe. I could be wrong. It might be nylon. I can't remember. <laughs> Hope these sounds are working for you. Similar to that, I do some that have these little beads on them. This bead, um, this one has beads of um, opalite and um, aura pyrite, so aura as in it's been treated with um, titanium, I believe, and it gives it this like uh, iridescent oil slick kind of look. Now, opalite is a man-made, um, it's basically like a glass, it's man-made. Oftentimes I see people uh, call it moonstone, but it's definitely not moonstone. Um, they're usually kind of milky, kind of transparent, um, and just glass looking. They have a glass look to them because that's what they are. Um, but that's not to say that they don't have metaphysical um, benefits. Uh, they're very soothing and they are programmable because they are made from quartz in a way. So this is a rose quartz, just wrapped with those two little beads on a waxed cotton cord. I only use vegan um, cords and whatnot. This one's a little tough, but they get a lot softer as you wear them. And this is an example of a macrame pendant style that I make. Um, this is in aqua aura quartz, the tumbled aqua aura quartz and it's wrapped in silver cord for in a macrame style this is a knot called a square knot and these are just knots, like typical knots but I like that style, I usually put that on like a um, like a silver chain or some type of chain to kind of have a contrast. This one's actually one that I made before that I am have repaired for someone. Um, they purchased this for me when I was a pop-up shop at a art event and messaged me, <laughs> found me on Facebook and messaged me to say that their four-year-old daughter had pulled the bead out, <laughs> pulled the stone out, um, because they are not, so if you really work at it, like, you can pull it apart, you know, you have to be, you can play around with it a lot, but you, you don't want to pull it apart intentionally to get the stone out, um, so I fixed it for her, and it was great, because then I got to see her again, and, um, I actually gave her a little Reiki session, and gave her an amethyst point for her daughter to play with, so that she wouldn't, hopefully, <laughs> feel the need to rip this one apart. <laughs> so, I like another style, this is one version of a different style that I do, um, which is another macrame. This is a black macrame cord on a hammered copper bar that I made with um, copper chain. The stones that I used on this are a uh, amethyst points and a um, black tourmaline bead. Let me show you. 
That's what it looks like. Here's the amethyst point and black tourmaline bead. This is one of the first styles I started making when I learned how to macrame and use wire and stuff. I'm no expert, I'm just a hobby, I guess you could say. So, I really like this one. I ended up probably going to end up keeping it for myself. <laughs> but I have others like this. I try to make everything um, kind of one of a kind, so you get your own, you know, special. I love handmade jewelry. It just has a lot of character. So, that's basically all that I have to show you. Um, you can find me on Facebook, you can find me on Instagram, I'm on Etsy, <laughs> um, if you want to connect in other ways. Um, I am, of course, still doing my uh, other video series, the um, uh, chakra-based balancing, so my next one's going to be heart. Um, I don't know if we'll be able to do it tonight, but I'm going to do it very soon. I did take a couple weeks off, but I'm back. And, um, yeah, so I hope that you enjoyed this. Thank you again for watching. Thank you for the love and support. I can't tell you how much I appreciate you guys. It's been really wonderful to be able to do this and share something that I'm passionate about. Um, I get a lot of messages from people on Instagram and on my Facebook and asking for all sorts of different stuff and it's really wonderful and very humbled to be able to connect or help you in any way to kind of guide you while you're on your path and not even guide you, just be like a support, I guess you could say. Um, often I've had this experience many times where someone just that I meet just needs to say like one thing or like a book or a movie or a YouTube channel or something, just say one word that will trigger something in me that I need to do more research on. Um, so it's like a very, sometimes very small things can be very door, door opening in senses. So um, with that said, that's kind of like how I like to treat my responses to you guys. Um, you're not going to find like all the answers from me, of course. Like I get a lot of people with very specific questions and I absolutely love helping. But um, a lot of you already know, like, it's the inner work, you know, it's what you do for yourself that really, um, changes or elevates you on a soul level to, um, move to the next level, I guess you could say, um, whatever that may be. <laughs> Part of, um, being an, I hate the word enlightened sometimes, but I'm just going to use it here, an enlightened person is just knowing that you will never have the answers, and that's great, you know, it's very, um, powerful that way because you don't have to know all the answers. You can do as much research as you want to do. You can make your own decisions because no matter what, like the expression as above, so below, um, you are the nexus of that. Um, all of it is through your eyes. Like this entire earth experience <laughs> is only through your eyes and it is all for you. So in that sense, like you are the creator, of course you are God, you know, um, you are very powerful. You have lessons to learn, you have experiences to have and actions to do, and if you don't complete them, those challenges are going to keep coming up until you do, but you have all this power, so I just love to see people realize and actualize that gift that they have, because it makes your life so much more, um, I don't want to say so much more meaningful, but so much, it's just fulfilling, it's wonderful, it's a wonderful place to be. Um, even when you have your bad days, you know, you can find the lesson, you can appreciate that, you know, the pendulum will swing back and everything, you know, it's going to move forward again. You need this time for this. I'm grateful for that. And you move on. So, um, anyway, I'm kind of rambling. <laughs> I guess that's what this video was all about anyway. But, um, thank you again. Hope you enjoyed. And again, just thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Have a wonderful evening. Good night.